to the rest of your entire body. Saggy arms. Now this is often referred to by my clients as something called bingo arms or bat wings, whereby there's an excessive accumulation of excess skin on the upper arms that flaps when you wave. Now saggy arms are often attributed to age genetics and can even occur following a substantial weight loss. And as any doctor will tell you, this is irreversible without surgery. But as you will soon learn, this is a lie. Then there's soft and squishy arms. Now even when you don't have excess sagging skin and you aren't overweight and you aren't over fat, you can still have upper arms that are soft and mushy and lack any muscle tone. In this case, it's the lack of muscle density or muscle loss in the upper arms that is the culprit. However, the solution isn't just as simple as doing a few arm exercises. Now you see, traditional fitness and fat loss programs will never work at correcting any one of these problems. In fact, in nearly every single case, the problem is only likely to get worse. And you may be very familiar with this experience if you've already tried and failed. Now your arms are only likely to get larger and become more bulky, and the amount of sagging skin is very likely to increase as well. So what then? You know, if exercise and weight loss doesn't work, how are you ever going to feel confident with your arms? Is it even possible? Now, some women, feeling there's no other option, resort to expensive and risky plastic surgery, opting for liposuction of the upper arms and what is called a brachioplasty or an arm lift surgery. Now, the sad truth is, however, that unless you get to the root cause of your arm problem, it's just going to come back after your surgery. And now you'll be left with a permanent zipper scar down the back of your entire arm, making you feel even more self-conscious. And now you're even less likely to go sleeveless. 